Are you tired of seeing your history full of chocolates? Or is it your team that's getting the Valentine's chocolate? Is your team forcing you to play as a rom? Or is it you who loves to play rom but couldn't make those OP setups like keyboard? Calm down, bro. Don't worry, you have suffered a lot, my child. Let me help you. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video I will be sharing with you 10 pro tips and tricks to rotate and dominate as a roamer. And I bet after watching this video you will outshine even the most skilled roamers out there. As we know the first 2 minutes of the game are very crucial for a roamer. In this fraction of a second you have to decide whether to help your jungler clear mid lane, invade the enemy's buff or babysit your god laner. I know you can't process all these things all at once and so for that comes tip number 1. Don't gank in the early game. If the enemy has heroes that will invade your jungler such as Franco, Tigril, Natalia, Hylos, Fanny, Ling or Hanzo. Especially if your hyper is an assassin as they are weak in the early game and can get invaded easily. So what you can do here is to help your jungler clear buffs faster or zone out those annoying early game invaders. After that, you can assist them for the lethal fight and even set an early ambush. Tip number 2. You don't always have to assist your jungler at the turtle or lord. In the latest patch, you can no longer pull turtle or lord to your side of the map. So as a roam, your job is to scout the area for any potential threats and zone them out. When the turtle is about to spawn, avoid ganking other lanes unless your team can secure the turtle on their own. But if the enemy hyper is dead and your jungler is in low on HP and your teammates are there, then you can rotate other lanes where the enemy is not expecting you. Before moving to tip number 3, make sure you are subscribed as 65% of you haven't and this makes me sad. So go and smash that subscribe button if you want more of these contents. The third tip is avoid overstaying for too long, whether it is gold, EXP or mid lane. If you attempt to gang but sense that the enemy won't leave their turret while you are camping in the bush, it's best to move on to other objectives such as providing vision and securing the turtle. It's highly unlikely that they will leave their turret because maybe their allies is a subscriber of Kazuki official and has spotted you approaching. So it is best to leave that mark, otherwise you will not only waste your time but also miss out on other opportunities. And with this we come to tip number 4. That is what to do when the enemy is playing too safe under their turret. Well, ideally, you are supposed to rotate the gold lane, but if the MM there is hugging their turret, then there is no point in rotating there. Instead, you can try ganking the EXP lane or invade enemy's jungle. Remember, it is not always important to kill your enemy for a successful gank. If you can lower their HP and make them retreat, you are giving your ally a better chance of winning lane. But if you have your jungler and mage by your side, you can even consider extending the engagement and diving under turret. Just be careful of any potential enemy support. Now tip number 5. The role of a roam consists two types of heroes, tank and support. But do you know when to pick tank and when to pick support? Bruh. If your team has high HP fighter or jungler who can sustain in fight and also deal moderate amount of damage like Fredrin and Teresla then support like Angela and Estes are your best bet. Their heal and ability to provide vision with their skills will help your team to dominate. On the other side, if your team doesn't have a hero who can sustain more, then picking a tank is a no-brainer. Also for a high damage, low durability team composition, a tank is very essential to sustain and also to make setups which supports lay. Tip number 6. Knowing your roaming item I have seen a lot of roamers who just buy items randomly that don't even match the hero's composition. What? For example, buying favor for Tigril Are you serious right now, bro? and conceal for Estes like, bro, why? Oh my God! There are four roam blessings. Encourage, favor, dire hit, and conceal. 
and each of these fits differently for different heroes. You should use Encourage when playing Rome like Balleric, Kufra or Hylos as these heroes have high sustainability and the longer you are with the team, the more they can get effect from the item. Favor Heroes like Estes, Rafaela or Florin should equip this blessing as it slits you or your nearby ally with the lowest HP, restore an extra HP. Dire Hit Now you use this blessing only when playing a role which can deal damage. Yes, this is an experimental blessing and can fit heroes like Hilda, Selena who are not actually support but are made to roam due to family pressure. <laughs> now comes everyone's favorite blessing, Conceal. This is one of the most popular blessing and because of that players equipped it randomly. You should use it when playing Rome which is good at initiating for example Tigril, Atlas, Lolita, Franco etc. It suits them as when you activate it to initiate a fight it would be harder for the enemies to spot you easily. Speaking of spot we have tip number 7. When rotating around make sure you are hidden from the map. To avoid enemy marksmen or fighter from going back in their turret. Don't go past the enemy minions or near the turret as you are visible at that time and the enemy can see where you are rotating. You can also avoid getting spotted by Lethal Wanderer by going around it. Hello there. Yes, you will only be visible when you are inside the radar. You see this icon if you are visible to the enemy. But if you still want to avoid the risk, then try to rotate from the inside of your turret. And for the most, make sure the enemy mid or roam isn't following you when you are rotating or providing vision on you. Now that we know how Lethal Wonder works, you can use it to your advantage and that brings us to tip number 8. When clearing the minion wave, act like you are rotating to a lane by walking towards it but right after the minion dies, you turn around and head straight to the opposite lane. This is to trick those enemies who pay a lot of attention to the minimap. Not only does it add an element of surprise to them but it also tends to make the opposite lane play more cautiously giving your ally on the opposite side more dominance. Get over here! You can use this when you accidentally get visioned by Lethal Wanderer. Just walk to the opposite side of the lane until it no longer shows you on the map and later surprise them. Hello there. Get over here. Moving on to tip number 9. Combo Wombo. By now we understand that it is the Rom who does a lot of things like calling out for objectives, making plays, setups and many more. So make sure to show some love to this role. But in order to gain respect from your teammates, execute some godly setups and for that you should know the combos of the hero you are roaming with. Example Tigril Conceal Ultimate. Minotaur Flicker Ultimate, Johnson's Katita Ultimate and many more. So hope into practice mode and master those deadly combos. If you have made it this far, I believe you are that tank main who does everything for the team's victory. GG my main, you have my respect. Die. And for the last tip, always make sure to check out the bushes that gives negative vibes. Lol, just kidding. Make sure to check the bushes that your teammates will pass and don't be greedy to use your skills 
even if there is only one enemy. It's better to get one than nothing. With these tips, I bet you will become an excellent roamer and in no time, coaches will ask you to play for them. Comment down your favorite roam with the blessing and let others judge you. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.